Hi traders, in this video I am going to show you how to backtest any CBOT, in other words trading algorithm, trading robot in CTraders C algo platform. As you already know, most of the prop firms are now diversifying their platform portfolio, meaning for a long time Pro firms only had MT5 and MT4 as their main platforms. And as all the crisis situation hit the pro firms, like MFF, the Funded Engineer, TFF, and they had bad times with regulators, especially in the USA, it was needed to add new platforms to their portfolio and as you already know meta quotes the company of mt5 and mt4 suspended their licenses and especially us traders can trade um, at pro firms with mt4 and mt5 and many pro firms are diversifying and adding c trader as a new platform. It is interesting because I actually started my coding career on, in CTrader. I developed uh, algorithms because its language is C sharp and it was not a new platform for me. When they announced it, I was quite happy because CTrader is actually a great platform and it has its advantages over even MT5. Now on the other hand, DX Trade and Match Trader, the other two platforms um, that prop firms started to use, they are pretty bad. And the good news for the traders and US traders that there are copy softwares that can copy your trades or MT5 and MT4 to match trader and DX trade. And so you don't need to let go of uh, your MT5 and MT4 EAs. But if you can use C trader uh, at a prop firm, that is, seems reputable for you and, you know, switch to um, Ciago you can do it and in this series I'm going to show you how to deal with EAs um, in CTrader and EAs in CTrader are called CBOTS and the platform is called CALGO. As you can already see I am um, going to show you how to backtest in this video because it is not very hard, but if you are first time user, it can be a little bit challenging. So first of all, you have three main buttons uh, on the top. And when you are just trading without any algorithms, you can use the trade button. When you are using uh, some copy um, service, um, you can use the copy button. And when you are using your EAs, your CBOTs, you should use the automate button and you can just click here and it appears. Search for the C bot that you want to test. Uh, now I want to test the Viking C bot for C trader that I am working on for a while so I can provide my best algorithms in C trader as well. Um, and you can choose the currency here that you want to back test with. Now I am going to choose NZD Canadian dollar. Just, you know, why not? And you can choose the time frame as well. Um, there are many time frames here, even time frames like two hours, three hours, four hours, and uh, six hours, eight hours, and every kind of that. Now we are going to use the one hour time frame. As you can see, if you click here, you can start to trade with the EA. If you click this button, it is the same as in MT4 and MT5. Um, it is 
going to start the trade. Um, and if you just uh, click um, the button, it stops. It's pretty straightforward. Let's go to backtesting. First of all, you have your parameters. You can adjust all of them depending on the EA on the C bot that you are using. Some of them have less, some of them more parameters. Now, here I am going to show you how to use a set file because that is going to be very important if you're a professional trader and you want to trade in C Trader the same way as in uh, MT5, let's say. Click on this icon and I am going to search for the set file for the NZD Canadian dollar and just open it and it is going to overwrite all the parameters and use the right parameters. If you want to adjust the lot size, of course you can do it here. Let's just use 0 0.5 lot. It is for $10,000 or you can use equity based lot uh, sizing as well. You can use trailing stop now. Uh, this set file is not using that and multiple parameters. If you are interested in this uh, robot particularly, let me know in the comments and I'm going to make a whole video about this C-Trader robot. Um, you can also give the label of the robot. Viking EA is good. And after that, of course, you can set the amount of dollars or whatever your account is in. I am using euros at the moment. And 10,000 is good. Um, here is one very important part. If you want to use backtesting, I highly recommend for you to have a robot that you can backtest with only open prices because it is much faster. I am going to show you. I just uh, now I am not doing visual optimization, uh, visual backtesting, but if you are interested, I will do that as well in the next video. So here, um, it was this fast to run the backtest. We uh, ran it for approximately one year, a little bit more than one year. And the reason is I am showing this to you because I recommend to use an EA that has similar results in open price backtest as in one minute um, bars and also in tick data testing because that means that you can optimize it and test it much, much easier than CBOTs that doesn't have any capability to be tested or optimized on on the open prices and uh, the one hour bars, but it can speed up the process up to for up to like 1 million years. So you won't have to be spending 1 million years in front of your computer that way. I couldn't even imagine how would I even optimize any a robot that can't be trusted on the one hour or four hour or daily bar open price. Um, I am showing you that um, with TIG data from server, the most accurate um, testing, how it compares to the one hour bars, it is much, much slower. And imagine if you are optimizing and you need to do this like 10,000 times uh, it is a little bit crazy. This is why it is very important to be able to backtest um, even with um, one bar, one, one hour bar, four hour bar or daily. Or if you are using uh, like day trading strategies like the 30 minute bar. Let's see. And also, if you noticed, C Trader and C Algo, it looks much better than MT4 and MT5. Much, much better. 
it has a real good vibe to it when you are backtesting and trading on it. Yeah, it is very close. The results are very, very close, like in 1%. And of course, after you um, run the test, you can take a look at the trading statistics. What is your drawdown? What, is, what was your commission actually? What was your swap? Because in CIGO testing, all these things are included in the test. So it is pretty accurate. Um, yeah, max balance drawdown was like 7%. Total trades were 28. Um, largest winning trade was around 600 euros. Let's see the largest losing trade is around like 450 euros, the average trade and you can see all the results here. The profit factor was 2.84. Um, After that, you can go to the history and you can see all the trades that the robot has done in the last year. And you can actually click on a certain trade and you can see, it, um, in my opinion, it is a very good feature where you can just take a look at the trade if you, yeah, it is better this way because I want to see actually what EA has been, the C bot has been doing. Yes, so you can take a look at the trades this way. It's a pretty nice sell trade here. It is a pretty nice sell trade here. And you can analyze what you ca could add to your strategy, to your robot, how you could improve it, um, what were the like bad parts. Okay, I decided to also show you the visual mode because it can be really interesting to see it in action. You can just click on the visual mode. And of course, now you're going to have a really slow one in real time, but you can you can use like even smaller one than real time. It is crazy. I am going to use a speedy one because we don't have a year of 10 years to take a look at this. It can really help you to analyze our strategy because when you are seeing it live as it is um, picking up trades and closing them, you have the best ideas. And here you can see the open position, how it progresses. Here is the take profit. Uh, here we open the trade and you can, you can see it this way as well. Yeah, uh, it was a successful trade, the first one. Can you see it in the history? And now it is the new trade that we are doing. Uh, I think it is very, very interesting to see it this way. And you can speed it up even more. But uh, this is the maximum speeding. So of course, it is going to take a while. But it is very useful to analyze your strategy this way. So I'm now not going to finish this uh, visual test. But you see the point. If you have any more questions about backtesting in CTrader, just let me know because I know everything about this software. And also my pro tip, download the Spotware CTrader version from the original website of Spotware because when you're downloading the um, CTrader for, from any other broker, the T data is usually not that good. And in my opinion, based on my experience, this is the best quality data. You can also, of course, import uh, data. That is also very possible. And in the next video, I am going to show you optimization. That is an even longer video. So stay tuned. Ciao.